Hey everybody, Scott Luthold here with 4 Expedition. Today I'm enjoying a three-day solo stand-up paddleboard camping expedition um, with my boat drift bug slinger uh, stand-up paddleboard boat B-O-T-E. Check them out, they're an awesome company. My boat's an inflatable, so I can take it anywhere. Got uh, two 35-liter dry bags with all my gear. Um, I'm on Blue Ridge Reservoir, which is a uh, man-made lake that sits on top of the Colorado Plateau in northern Arizona. Uh, it's about 11 miles long, I say, about 142 feet deep. It's great for trout fishing, stocked. You can camp along this lake if you have some kind of watercraft. Um, they do not allow anything larger than 10 horsepower. They do allow paddlers and electric motorboats. But uh, you don't get a whole lot of people this far back where I am because there's log jams that get in the way. And this stand-up paddleboard is awesome because it's so shallow I can get right through it. Anyhow, if you're not outside enjoying nature right now, venture out. into the narrows here and see what this is like. I'm on a camp spot that has morning sun, not afternoon sun. And I've heard that there's some really nice camp spots back here that have some things set up, some seating and whatnot, carved out of logs. There's a canoe. Somebody's camping back here. So beautiful. twinkling through the trees and there Alright, well I thought maybe I would walk you up through my campsite, show you the nice camp spot that I found. Um, camp is actually out on a peninsula, so it's almost like being on an island. It wraps almost all the way around. So somebody has spent a lot of time building a pretty nice camp spot here. So I've got all my gear hung up in the trees. My dry bags. 
solar panel. Um, pointed that out earlier, that's my um, life jacket belt. Trash hanging in the tree. I've had some lovely little chipmunk creatures who have no fear whatsoever and would practically climb up my leg to get to my food if I want, or if I would let them. Check out this chair. So it's a stump with a nice stiff backing on it. There's another one over here. We've got a, a table here with flagstone, wood base. I've been using this to cook on. Doesn't stop the chipmunks from getting up on it though. Um, some cool seating here. Big ol' fire pit. There are fire restrictions, so I've not been having any fires, but... And then over here, got some more gear up in the tree. My food up there. Backpack. My cooler cooler. My tent over here in the shade water behind there. My hammock where I spent an awful lot of time reading books and swinging in the tree. Swinging between the trees just contemplating life and so forth. Over here's my swimming hole. So you've got this cliff here. which I could literally just run right now and jump right off of out into the deep. Such a great spot. This is actually a dead-end cove back here and very few people come through so it's almost like having my own lake. Alright, so heading back up to camp because I'm gonna go get myself something to drink out of my five gallon Roto plastic cooler here. Really sweet. Keep a lot of colder food in here. It's nice when you're paddling that you can actually bring a cooler. When you're backpacking, you don't have to do that. I've got coconut water in here. I've got some beers, tortillas, apples, some trail mix, which I think I'll have right now. Pull out one of these crusty coconut waters to wash it all down. All right, y'all. Have a good one.